my dears and welcome back to my corner of the internet. I'm Shannon and today I've got a tea talk video to share with you guys. It feels like it's been a minute since I've just sat here and filmed a tea talk. So let's do that today. The sun's coming out. The past couple of days it's been rainy and cloudy, which I like, but it's funny because about an hour ago I was talking to my mom on the phone and I said I wish the sun would come out and now it has. All right, so tea. I've got my Ireland tea mug. This mug is super cute and it comes with a little spoon that goes through little holes in the handle, but I, I left that in the kitchen. The tea that I'm drinking today is the Organic Chamomile Citrus from Steep by Bigelow. I love this tea. Um, it's just a nice lemony chamomile. And when I have just chamomile, I always add lemon to it. So this is kind of the perfect mixture that takes a step of the work away. <laughs> so that's always nice. So, cheers. I've also got a few goodies that I picked up from Sephora. So I'm gonna do a, a very tiny mini haul. Um, basically, I wanted to make the purchases right now because it's my birthday month. My birthday is at the end of September on the 27th. So I wanted to make sure I got the little, you know how there's always a couple of items you can pick from as your birthday present. So I wanted to make sure I didn't miss out on that. So we'll get to that now in a bit. So with September in full swing, it's got me thinking about October, which of course is Halloween. And that's got me thinking about, um, I did this last year too. And that's sort of a book talk <laughs> I don't know if I'll call it that. When I said that name to my husband, he was like, please call it that. But um, yeah, book talk -oween. It's where for the four Fridays in October, I'm going to be doing more sort of spooky book talks. If you like spooky stuff, you got that to look forward to. I tend to, when I read spooky things or I want to feel scared, I tend to lean more to the side of um, like haunted houses and ghost stories. Um, as opposed to like violent scary things. I prefer like the ghost story side of it. So yeah, if you like that, you've got that to look forward to. And uh, what do you think, book talk -oween? <laughs> Every time I say it, it makes me laugh. Okay, so what else can I tell you? On a personal note, my daughter's going to write her learner's permit test today. So in a few hours, I could be the mother of a driving teenager. She just turned 14. That seems so young to me. When I grew up, it was a little older. Um, and she's so tiny. I'm like, how are you going to drive? You're so little. Uh, but I guess she isn't. I guess, you know, just in our minds, we hold this image of our child and it's smaller than they actually are. I don't know. But um, yeah, that'll be exciting. I'm looking forward to that. Kind of. <laughs> Like, I'm excited for her and I'm terrified for me. You know how it goes. Cheers. <laughs> so we've got American Horror Story starting, well, tomorrow from when I'm filming this, but tonight, if you're watching this on the day it went up. I know a bunch of you guys like watching it too. I'm so excited. I saw the trailer went up a few days ago or a week or so ago and it looks like there's a lot going on but there always does um but yeah i'm excited to watch it also this evening i'm thinking about watching the guernsey literary and potato peel pie society film that's up on netflix um actually on friday i'm putting up a book talk of that of that book um, and I just saw that the movie's up on Netflix. It's a Netflix original. So I think I'm going to watch that tonight. That way I can kind of compare the two in Friday's video. So looking forward to that. I think season three of This Is Us starts soon. So I need to go, you know, bulk buy some Kleenex before I watch that. Some, some episodes I sit there and I wonder why do I do this to myself? You know, it's so, so sad. So often like almost every episode and the way season two ended like I feel like there's gonna be a lot to unpack and it's all gonna be sad so Kleenex cheers before we 
we get into the haul is I've been noticing when I'm editing my videos that lately, pretty much since I got back from Ireland, I've been noticing that the camera going in and out of focus a lot. And I don't know why that's happening. So I've tried fiddling around with it and I don't know if this one's gonna be any better and I won't really know until I go to edit it. So fingers crossed I figured out the problem, but if you've been watching my videos and you've been wondering why is this happening, girl, I don't know why it's happening, but hopefully I've accidentally fixed it. Hi, it's Shannon from the future here. I have not accidentally fixed it, as you can see. I think what's going on is the camera is trying to focus, for some reason, on that little tiny typewriter there behind me. I'm going to move that next time. So there you go. <laughs> Let's jump into the haul. So like I said, my main reason for making the purchase right now is because it's my birthday month. So the birthday gift that came this year, last year it was a Tarte set. It had like a little Tarte lipstick and a blush. I think I love that blush. I still use it all the time. So this year, the one that I chose, well, there was two. One I think was a Glam and Glow kit, like a moisturizer kit and maybe a mask. I'm not sure. But I picked up the Bite Beauty kit. I love Bite Beauty so much. I love their bullet lipsticks and then the tall, thinner lipsticks. I love those too. I do love the bullets more though. Um, but this came with one of each. And well, first of all, it came with this little envelope here. And it came with two little samples of their Agave lip balm. And I've gone through two or three tubes of that stuff. I love it so much. Um, and I'm currently out, so I'm happy to have a couple samples. And then it came with the sort of taller lip pencil and this is in the shade. I should have brought my glasses. <laughs> this is in the shade Glace, I think. So it looks like this. I'll give it a little, little swatch there. <clears throat> so it looks like that. And then it came with the little tiny bullet, and this one is in the shade Chai. Um, so they're very, they're very similar colors. Um, that's the Chai there. So you can see very similar, slightly different, but I think they'll be perfect colors for fall. Uh, like I said, I just love Bite. I love it so much. Um, I think the quality of the ingredients are very good. You know, they're all natural. They say that they're made from food grade ingredients. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. Next up, if you remember, I've been recently raving about the Fenty Foundation. I had a, um, I got a sample from Sephora um, at one point, and it was a pretty good sample size, and I used it up, and I loved it. Um, so I decided for my birthday I was going to buy myself the full size of the Fenty Foundation, and that's what I did. Comes in a box like this, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. I picked up the shade 120 because I'm pretty pale. And I just love it. I love it so much. If you haven't tried it and you can get your hands on a sample, do. Because it's it's really fantastic. So it looks like this when you take it out of the package. It comes in a glass bottle, which I love. Like, when you hold this, it feels, it feels like it's good quality. It feels like it's luxurious packaging. And then when you take the top off, it's got a pump. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we all feel the same way about pumps. We love them. At least I love them. <laughs> and then the final thing I grabbed was a MAC lipstick because Sephora is carrying MAC now, at least online. I don't think in stores, but online. So that's pretty exciting. I love when all the things I love are kind of gathered in one place and you can kind of just one stop shop. Kind of like with Amazon. I <laughs> love that. Anyway, the shade I picked up was Party Line and it's what I have on my lips right now. And it's this beautiful sort of deep vampy red. I just love it. I think it's great fall and winter color. And give it a little swatch here. And that's it there on the end. I love it. I think it's really flattering. Could be wrong, but <laughs> I think so. And I guess that's all that matters. And the great thing about these lipsticks is that they're so comfortable. They go on so nicely. They're so comfortable. The wear time is, you know, typical for a just regular lipstick, but when it's a color I love, I don't mind reapplying. So, cheers. Anyway, you guys, I think that's
that's going to do it for me for today. I hope you guys are having a great day. The sun that, has co that had come out at the beginning of the video has now retreated back behind the clouds. So I guess it was good timing for filming the video. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Truly, your support just... It brightens my day every single day, so thank you. And I will see you on Friday with that book talk video. Bye guys. <laughs>